Hello students, good morning all of you. This is your Prabhakar and welcome to my channel Dawn of Chemistry. Hope you are happy and healthy in your homes and today I have brought you a very interesting topic and very much confusing topic also for the students and that is uh, definitely you can expect one question based on this limiting reagent in your mains exams or local entrance test exams. Right. Let us get into the topic. What is this limiting reagent? See, really this is very very easy topic ma, if you listen carefully and understand the things properly, otherwise this is the best confusing topic for you people, if you don't understand it properly. Let us see, what is this limiting reagent? Let me give you the definition for limiting reagent. In a reaction, the reagent which is in less quantity than required quantity in a reaction the reagent which is in less quantity than the required quantity is called limiting reagent. In a reaction, the reagent which is in less quantity than the required quantity is called as a limiting reagent. Or, in a reaction, the reagent which decides the products formed which decides the quantity of products formed is called limiting reagent. So this is the definition for this limiting reagent. How can you define this limiting reagent? It means in a reaction the reagent which is in less quantity than the required quantity is called as limiting reagent or in a reaction the reagent which decides the quantity of products formed in the reaction is called as the limiting reagent. Let me give you an example for this limiting reagent. Let us take N2 plus 3H2 gives 2 NH3. According to the stoichiometric equation, you people know very well about this stoichiometric equation, otherwise I will make a video on this stoichiometric equation from that you can understand. As per the stoichiometric equation or balanced equation, every balanced equation gives you proper data how they will be reacting, in what ratios how they will be reacting, in how much masses they will be reacting. According to stoichiometric equation, 28 grams of nitrogen reacts with 6 grams of hydrogen to form the 34 grams of ammonia. So 28 grams of nitrogen reacts with 6 grams of hydrogen to produce the 34 grams of ammonia. That is the stoichiometric equation. So according to the stoichiometric equation, whenever they react in this ratio, in this ratio or 1 mole of nitrogen reacts with 3 moles of hydrogen to produce the 2 moles of ammonia. So that is the reaction. Now let us see, for example, case 1. 56 grams of nitrogen is reacting with 12 grams of hydrogen. How much ammonia is formed? In case 2, 28 grams of nitrogen is reacted with 3 grams of hydrogen. How much products are formed? In another case, 14 grams of nitrogen is combined with 6 grams of hydrogen. How much products are formed? In another case, 100 grams of nitrogen is combining with 
100 grams of hydrogen how much products are formed and what is limiting reagent in every case to understand this thing i will give you a small example listen carefully there is a person a he can eat two plates of biryani and he keeps two empty plates listen carefully ma here this is the reaction starting and this is the product so according to the basic reaction one person can eat two plates of biryani and keeps two empty plates hope you are ma he will not eat the plates he does not eat plate you know very well what is a plate of biryani means so one person eats two plates of biryani and keeps two empty plates his capacity is two plates only ma even though there is 2.5 plates of biryani also he will not touch anything he will simply eat two plates of biryani let us take different conditions in case one two persons are there four plates biryani is there how many empty plates so how many empty plates will come in another case 10 persons are there 10 plates biryani is there how many empty plates will come in another case five persons are there 50 plates biryani is there how many empty plates will come so if you see this problem very carefully we are having one person eats two plates of biryani and he keeps two empty plates this is the reaction and this is the result of the reaction or you can say it as a product here you see two persons are there and four plates of biryani is there how many empty plates will come according to the stoichiometric equation one person eats two plates of biryani and keeps two empty plates here two persons can eat four plates of biryani so they will produce four empty plates they can produce four empty plates because one person eats two plates of biryani so he keeps two empty plates here two person eat four plates of biryani and produces four empty plates there is no limiting reagent because the reaction there are sufficient conditions for happening the complete reaction there is no disturbance for the reaction but here you see 10 persons are there 10 plates of biryani is there but originally 10 persons requires 20 plates of biryani right but here only 10 plates of biryani is there that means which is in extra and which is in less quantity than the required 10 persons require 20 plates of biryani but only 10 plates of biryani is there that means this is in less quantity than the required quantity that's why this will become the limiting reagent how many empty plates will come 10 persons will eat 20 plates of biryani but only 10 plates are there that's why they will eat only 10 plates so that's why 10 will come so this limiting reagent since it is in less quantity it is deciding the products formed and how many persons will left over five persons left right because five persons can eat the 10 plates of biryani so five persons left in this case are you understanding listen carefully ma according to the stoichiometric equation one person can eat two plates of biryani and he will keep two empty plates here two persons are there means they will eat four plates of biryani and they will keep four empty plates but in the second condition we are having 10 persons and 10 plates of biryani originally 10 persons require 20 plates but only 10 plates are there means this is in less quantity than the required quantity so here this will be the limiting reagent or the reagent which decides the products formed here persons 10 persons should produce 20 plates but only 10 are there that means this product is decided by the limiting reagent how many persons are left means five persons are left so these are the different models of questions they will be asking you i will tell you how they will ask questions also 
Next case three, you see, this is case two, and look at the case three. There are five persons are there, and fifty plates of biryani is there. Fifty plates of biryani is there means you need twenty-five persons to completely finish the biryani, but only five persons are there. So these are less quantity than the required. So that's why this will become the limiting reagent. So how many plates of biryani is left over? How many plates will come means ten because. Five persons will pro eat ten plates of biryani, so they will produce ten empty plates. And how many biryanis are left over means forty biryani left over. So forty biryanis are left over. So like this, they will be asking the different question. Hope you understood this example. Like this, you can take any other examples also, but. This will be relative to you people, so that's why I have taken this example. Or you can take a person can garland ten flowers in one second. So how many garlands he can produce? A person can pro eat. You can take a person can produce. Uh, let us take hundred uh, uh, vadas in particular time. A person can eat hundred vadas in a time, or a person can destroy ten tables in. One minute like that also they can ask you. So like that you can take so many examples. So basically the standard thing you have to take and you have to compare the remaining things with the standard equation. Let us come to the question. Twenty-eight grams according to the stoichiometric equation. Twenty-eight grams of nitrogen reacts with six grams of hydrogen to produce thirty-four grams of ammonia. Here, see how they will ask questions means based on the limiting reagent means how much products are formed. How much products are formed? That is one question. Second one is which is limiting reagent. The second model is which is limiting reagent. And third model is how much reagent left over? How much reagent left over? Like that, they will be asking you the question. So be careful with these three models based on the limiting reagent, and they will easily confuse you by giving the questions. Ma, I will tell you how they will ask questions also. See, case one. We are having 56 grams and 12 grams of hydrogen. What some students will think is among the given two weights, whatever is in the less weight, they will take that as a limiting reagent. See, this is the very much mostly every student will do the same mistake when they are not having clarity on the concept. They will give you two weights among the given two weights, whatever is the smaller weight that they will take as a limiting reagent. That is very very wrong. So see, whatever the weights, let them give you. You have to compare with the stoichiometric equation. So let us see, 56 grams of nitrogen is reacting with 12 grams. So that means same only, right? 28 grams react with 6 grams. 56 grams can react with 12 grams. So there is no limiting reagent. So how much products are formed? 6 grams produce 12 grams. So 12 grams will produce. 68 grams. Double will come back. Right? Like this, you can calculate, or you can convert in terms of moles also. 56 grams means this is two moles. 12 grams means this will be six moles. So that's why one mole reacts with three moles. Two moles react with six moles. So there will be no limiting reagent. Here three moles will produce two moles. What is mole concept means mean? I will make a different video. There, I will giving you complete data about the mole concept. So six moles, two moles will produce two moles. One mole produce two moles, so two moles will produce four moles of it. And six moles will produce four moles. Directly, you can correlate with weights, or you can correlate with moles, and you can calculate. Next, you see twenty-eight grams. And reacting with three grams. Twenty-eight grams means one mole. Three grams means one point five mole. So, but originally you see, according to this, if you are confident about the mole concept, means you can continue with mole concept only. So, see, 
वन मोल रिएक्ट विथ थ्री मोल स्केर वन मोल इज देर एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव सो दट्स वाई यू सी वन रिक्वायर थ्री मोल्स बट हियर ओनली वन पॉइंट फाइव मोल्स आर देर सो दैट्स वाई दिस इज द लिमिटिंग रिएजेंट हाइड्रोजन इज द लिमिटिंग रिएजेंट सो थ्री मोल्स रिएक्ट विथ वन मोल वन पॉइंट फाइव मोल्स रिएक्ट विथ ओनली हाफ मोल सो दैट्स वाई हाफ मोल लेफ्ट सो हाउ मच प्रोडक्ट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड थ्री मोल्स प्रोड्यूज टू मोल्स वन पॉइंट फाइव मोल्स प्रोड्यूज वन मोल वन मोल मीन सेवेंटीन ग्राम इज प्रोड्यूस्ड नेक्स्ट यू सी फोर्टीन ग्राम फोर्टीन ग्राम इज देयर मीन हाफ मोल सिक्स ग्राम मीन दे हैव टेकन थ्री मोल्स नाउ यू टेल मी थ्री मोल्स रिक्वायर वन मोल बट हियर ओनली हाफ मोल इज देयर दैट्स वे this is the limiting reagent so since this is limiting reagent one mole produce two moles half mole produce only one mole so that's why 17 grams and finally you see 100 grams is reacting with 100 grams 100 grams means 100 by 28 here 100 by 2 so 50 moles and here 100 by 28 means how much you will be getting 100 by 28 means you can take 3.33 moles will come. Why 3.33 moles means 100 by 30 you can take. So 10 by 3 will come. So nearby you can take ma. Nearby values ma. Like this you can do for simple calculations also in your examination. So now see, one mole requires three moles. 3.33 moles requires how many moles? 3.33 into 3 means 9.99 moles is required. But here excess, right? So this is in excess. So here you see, three moles require one mole. 50 moles require how many moles? Three moles require one mole. 50 moles require 50 by 3. So 50 by 3 means how much? One. 16.9 moles is required, but only 3.3 moles. So that's why this is the limiting reagent. Since this is limiting reagent, based on this only products will be formed. Are you understanding, ma? So based on the stoichiometric equation, if they give you masses and if you are comfortable in doing calculations in terms of masses, means you can do. But if you are having little confusion in the moles concept, means directly you can correlate like this, and you can identify which is in more quantity and which is in less quantity. Here you see weight wise they are same, but you convert them into moles, there the difference will be coming, and easily you can understand by comparing with this stoichiometric quotient. So what will happen? Three point three three one will produce two. Three point three three will produce. 6.66. So 6.66 weight is how much? 6.66 into 17. 6.66 into 17 means how much will be coming? You can take nearly 7.119 grams will come nearly. Since it is lower, it will be. One one zero grams. So like this, roughly you can correlate will be the answer. So like this, we can understand what is limiting reagent. How can we do problems based on the limiting reagent? Is it clear, ma? So what is limiting reagent, and how can we do problems based on the limiting reagent? So limiting reagent means in a reaction the reagent which is in less quantity than the required quantity is called the limiting reagent so like this they will be asking you let me give you some problems based on the limiting reagent and you will understand the things very much better take down this for half minute Hope you have taken down this thing, ma.
So let us take this question H2 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2 O. In this thing, I will give you different conditions. You only can practice this. How what will be the limiting reagent? Let us see this. In the case one, according to stoichiometry, according to stoichiometry, the weight will be four grams of hydrogen reacts with thirty two grams of oxygen to produce the. 36 grams of water, or you can say two moles react with one mole to produce two moles of water. Case one: 16 grams of hydrogen is reacting with 128 grams of oxygen. Next, case two: eight grams of hydrogen is reacting with thirty-two grams of oxygen. Case three: eight grams of oxygen is reacting with one twenty-eight grams of oxygen. Case four: hundred grams of hydrogen is reacting with hundred grams of oxygen how much products are formed in every case so see h2 plus o2 gives 2h2o is the stoichiometric reaction for this reaction three questions are there what is limiting reagent how much product is formed and how much of the reagents are left over what is limiting reagent How much product is formed and which compound is left over, or how much compound is left over? So see, if you are confident in the mole concept, means you can continue with the mole concept. If you are confident in the mass relations, means you can continue with the mass relation. So two moles react with one mole to produce two mole. Here you see how many. Right. Let us see. So, how to find out the which is limiting reagent? How to find the quantity of <coughs> excuse me products formed in the reaction? So, as I told you, you can do limiting reagent with mass relation, moles relation, and this is the best method is there, ma? Equivalent relation. If you are very confident in equivalence concept, means you can do this in. Equivalence relation also better do this with equivalence ma that will be very very simple automatically you can cancel so let us see two moles react with one mole sixteen grams sixteen grams means how many moles sixteen grams means eight moles one twenty eight grams means four moles will come so here you can easily identify. Eight moles with four moles. So two moles with one mole means eight moles with four moles means here no limiting reagent. So that's why two moles produce two moles of water. So two into eighteen grams. If it is with equivalence means let me finish this thing. Ma, I will give you a brief cut about the equivalence and one more equation I will give you. Eight grams means four moles. Thirty-two grams means one mole will come. So see. Four moles require actually two moles, but only one mole is there. So this is the limiting reagent. This is in less quantity than the required quantity. So that's why here the product will be one mole produce two moles of it. So two into eighteen grams. Here you see four moles and four moles. One twenty eight grams means one twenty by thirty two. You can do. So see. One mole requires two moles. Four mole require eight moles. But here only four moles is there. So that's why this will become the limiting reagent, and this will be the excess will come. How much is left over means two moles left. And here how much is left means four moles react with two moles. So that's why two moles left. So two moles left means here it will produce four moles of water. Four into 18 grams and finally you see 100 by 2 means 
फिफ्टी मोल्स इयर हंड्रेड बाय थर्टी टू मीन्स थ्री पॉइंट थ्री मोल्स विल कम फिफ्टी मोल्स रिक्वायर ट्वेंटी फाइव मोल्स बट इयर ओनली थ्री पॉइंट थ्री मोल्स इज देर सो दिस विल बिकम द लिमिटिंग रिएजेंट सो हाउ मच विल कम थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री प्रोड्यूस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मोल्स विल कम सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू एटीन विल बी कमिंग लाइक दिस वी कैन इजीली आइडेंटिफाई विच इज लिमिटिंग रिएजेंट इफ यू गो टू इक्वल एंड कॉन्सेप्ट हाइड्रोजन इक्वल एंड वेट इज इक्वल टू वन ग्राम ऑक्सीजन इट इज एटीन ग्राम एंड वॉटर इट इज नाइन ग्राम दिस इज द इक्वल एंड वेट For this equivalent weights, I will make a different video and I will post one. So see, equivalent weight it is one gram, eight gram, and then nine gram. So here you see, in terms of equivalents, how many grams it is? Sixteen equivalents, and this will be how many equivalents? One twenty eight by eight means. One twenty eight by eight means. Sixteen equivalents only, right? So always remember there is no need of this equation also for this thing. All chemicals react in equal equivalents. All chemical reacts in equal equivalents. If sixteen equivalents are there, that reacts with sixteen. So sixteen and sixteen are there, and they will produce equal amounts of products also. That's why it will be sixteen equivalents of water will come. So sixteen into nine, you can get the same thing. So sixteen equivalents and sixteen. For this one, you see eight equivalents. Thirty two means here. Four equivalents. So since it is in less quantity, eight equivalents require eight equivalents. But here only four equivalents are there. So that's why this is limiting reagent. And as per this, four into nine grams is produced. Here you see eight grams means eight equivalents. One twenty eight grams means how many? Sixteen equivalents. So that's why which is limiting reagent means this is limiting reagent. And here you see hundred equivalents. And here it will be. Hundred by eight. Hundred by eight means twelve point five equivalent. So twelve point five means this is in less quantity. So this is limiting reagent. Twelve point five into nine grams will come. So same thing will be coming like this. You can compare the limiting reagents in terms of mass, mole, and then equivalents. And let us go for one more reaction. 2 mg plus O2 gives 2 mgO. This is the reaction, and let us see the cases. Case one: 24 grams reacting with 34 grams. Case two: 48 grams reacting with 320 grams. Case three. Forty-eight grams reacting with eight grams, and case four, hundred grams reacting with hundred grams. What is the limiting reagent? Here I told you mass relation that will be little confusion. Let's go to the moles and equivalents. Magnesium atomic weight is equals to twenty-four. Equivalent weight is equals to twelve. For oxygen, it is thirty-two. Equivalent weight is eight. For magnesium oxide, magnesium is twenty-four plus sixteen, forty, and this equivalent weight is twenty. Let us get into the details. I will write moles and equivalents. Moles, equivalents, moles, equivalents. Here, how many moles? One mole. Here, how many moles? One mole. How many equivalents? Two equivalents. How many equivalents? Four equivalents. So, which is limiting reagent means 
this one will be the limiting reagent so if you do with equivalent means you should know this equivalent weights as we know very well whenever they are forming they will lose electrons and they will gain electrons based on that we can identify the equivalent weight so that's why four equivalent so this is the limiting reagent so how much magnesium oxide weighs two equivalent so 2 into 20 finished here you see how many moles four moles How many moles? Ten moles. How many equivalents? Sorry, but this will be two moles only. How many equivalents? Four equivalents. This will be how many equivalents? Forty equivalents. So that's why which is limiting reagent means this one will be limiting reagent. So that's why four equivalents will come. So four into twenty grams. This case, how many moles means two moles. Here it will be. 1 by 4 moles how many equivalents means four equivalents how many equivalent means one equivalent so four equivalents require four equivalent but only one equivalent is there so this is limiting reagent 1 into 20 grams will come like this 100 grams means 100 by 12 100 by 12 means how much will come 100 by 12 equivalents 80 equivalents will come 100 by 8 100 by 8 means it will be 12.5 equivalents so this will become the limiting reagent so that's why 8 into 20 grams will come so like this you can easily identify the limiting reagent so limiting reagent means a reagent or a reagent substance which is in less quantity than the required quantity is called as limiting reagent so that is how you can calculate the limiting reagent you can do this with a different different reactions also i will give you an example reaction and you can solve on your own also i will give you the moles and i will give you the equivalents so equivalents main understanding is little confusing topic ma if you can become strong in that one means easily you can compare in terms of equivalents moles concept means it will be little difficult compare to that of equivalents Please take down these things. Hope you have taken this concept. I am clearing this. I will give you an example. You solve this on your own. This is important thing, ma. Listen carefully and do this on your own. So let us take. 2 Al plus 3 O2 gives Al2 O3. Atomic weight of aluminium is 27. Equivalent weight is equals to 9. Oxygen is 32. 8 Al2 O3. Al2 O3 means 54 and then 102 is the molecular weight. Seventeen is the equivalent weight, and how they have taken case one, fifty-four grams, and then sixty-four grams, not sixty-four. Fifty-four grams, and then forty-eight grams. Find out which is limiting reagent. Case two, one not eight grams and then eighty grams. What is limiting reagent and how much is formed? Case three, Twenty-seven grams and then thirty-two grams. What is limiting reagent? And case four, 
This is 100 grams and this is 100 grams what is limiting reagent. So in this case also simple thing ma. If you want to continue with moles concept means you can find out how many moles will be there and you can cross check which is in the less moles than the required quantity. If you want to go with equivalence concept means directly you can substitute and you can get the answer. Better go with equivalent only. Mass they have given you divide by equivalent weight you will get the equivalence. Here also same thing. The one which is in less equivalence than the required ones. That will be the limiting reagent that multiply with the equivalent weight you will get the answer. So like this we can easily understand the what is the limiting reagent and how to identify the limiting reagent in fraction of seconds. If you know the equivalence weights easily means in, in 15 seconds only you can solve the equivalent limiting reagent problem. So like this we can do problems based on the equivalent weights. If you like this video means click the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel and click bell icon for more notifications from my channel. Thank you.